In this video lesson, we're going to have a look at how to create a nested function. Nested functions are simply two functions or two or more functions inside the one calculation. We're going to start off with a nested text function. See, on my spreadsheet, I've got first name, last name. In this cell, I want to combine those two names together using concatenate. And we're also going to make it uppercase. So to do this, we're going to combine the two functions into one step. So I'm going to start with the equal sign. And the function I want to use is upper because that's going to convert whatever string we use into uppercase letters. That's the name of the function. We then use the open brackets and then we get the useful screen tip. Now here's a really important bit. You can see the argument for upper is text. That means whatever function we now use has to return a text value. The function we want to use next is a concatenate function to join these two cells together. So all we do inside these brackets is put in the function that's going to return that text. So we're going to put concatenate and then open the brackets for that function. And you can now see that my screen tip has switched to the concatenate function. Text one is in this cell, A2. So we'll put A2 there, comma. Text two is in B2. So we'll put that function, that uh, cell reference there. We'll close the brackets for the concatenate function and look at that. Excel knows that that function is now finished. So the screen tip has jumped back to the upper function. We've got our argument for the text. All we need to do is finish the upper function by closing the brackets. And that's really important. You've got to check how many brackets you've got open and how many you've got closed. They have to match. So have a good look what we've got there. We've got the concatenate function without the equal sign inside the upper function. We'll make that happen by pressing the Enter key. And you can see that we've got the combined result there. We've combined Ron and Taylor into one string and it's uppercase. That is a nested function. We'll look at another. It's a nested if function with either an and or an or. People can get very confused by these. So what I like to do is just look at the and function by itself first before combining it into the if function. And and or are logical functions. And that means they return either a true or a false value. An and means that um, it compares one or more condition. If both are true, then it returns true. That's difficult to understand with words. Let's have a look at it in practice. We've got some employees here that are getting close to retirement. Taylor's age 65 and he's been working for 27 years. Smith's been 65 and already been working for 25 years. So I'm going to change that to 24. The ruling in this employer's uh, organization is that when you retire at age 65, if you've worked for more than 25 years, you get a watch. Otherwise, you don't. So that's a classic case for using an if. It's a conditional situation. But I just want to focus on the and bit first. The and function requires a series of logical tests. It has to have one, can have more than one separated by a comma. A logical test has either got to be true or false. The first test we want to do is, is this person over 65? So inside our brackets, our logical test is, is the cell B5 more than or equal to 65? That's the retirement age. So that's our first test. So we put a comma. We then proceed on to do the rest of our logical test. The next test is, what's the number of years service? Is that more than 25? So we'll test for that by doing, is C5 greater than or equal to 25? So you can see what we're doing here. We're testing if they are eligible to retire. And at the same time, we're testing if they have worked for more than 25 years. Now, here's the kicker. If both of these tests are true, over 65 and over 25, then this AND function will return the word true. If only one of these conditions or none of these conditions are true, it will return false. So let's finish this function off. See, it's given me true because they are over 65 and they are over 25. If I copy that function down, we can see the other two are returning false. Have a look at it. Is the retirement age over 65 or equal to 65? Yes. Have they worked for more than 25 years? No. So because both conditions aren't true, the and 
function returns false. The other function that we often do with a nested if is the OR function, and it works in exactly the same way as the AND function, except that only one of the conditions needs to be true. So we'll build it up in the same way, OR, the first logical test, is, is the age more than or equal to 65, comma, next logical test, number of years service more than or equal to 65, close the brackets. Now that returns true because at least one of those conditions is true. If I copy that down now, we can see this also returns true. So we can see the difference between an AND and an OR. For AND, both conditions have got to be true. For OR, only one of the conditions needs to be true. And of course, in the bottom one, neither conditions are true. So both AND and OR both return false. Hope that makes sense. I'm going to proceed on now. I'm going to delete the OR. I'm going to build up now an IF function. I'm going to build that up in the, in the standard way. So we're going to start off with equals IF. Open the brackets. What's our logical test? Well, I'm going to ask whether this cell here, D5, is true or not. It's D5. Now, because that's all, already logical, I don't actually need to do anything else. That'll test whether it's true. But for the sake of uh, clarity, I'm going to say, is that equal to true? Just to make it easier to understand. So, is D5 true? Comma. If it is, what do we want to do? I'm not going to talk about what an if statement does. Again, you can go and have a look at my videos on if statements for a bit more detail on that. If it's true, we want to return the word give watch. Comma. If it's false, we don't want to do anything. So I'm just going to return an empty string. That's two sets of quotes with nothing in between. That will put nothing in the cell. Won't put a blank space. It will put nothing in the cell. Important distinction there. Close the function off, and let's make that happen. Okay, we can sit, copy that down now and see that in the first one, because if D5 is true, it is, so it gives the give watch result. The other two cells, because they are returning false, gives nothing. So that's a standard AND and a standard if statement. What we want to do now, because this video is supposed to be about nested functions, is to combine these together. So let's try that. Equals if. That's the main function. Open the brackets. What is the logical test? I know we've got it here, but I'm going to pretend we haven't. So we're going to build up the logical test using the AND function. Because that can return true or false. So AND, open brackets, is B5 greater than or equal to 65. And, oops, that shouldn't be N. Should be B. And at the same time, is the number of years service greater than or equal to 25. So we've just taken that AND statement and put it in as the logical test for the IF statement. We close off the AND. If that is true, comma, give watch. Close the quotes, comma. If that is false, we don't do anything, so double quotes. Finish off the IF function. So if you look in the formula bar, we've got a standard IF function equals IF. The logical test has now been replaced by another function that will return true or false. If it's true, we'll give watch. Yep, that works. Copy that down. Brilliant, that works. What I'm going to do now is just delete these two columns, and that shows you why we would use a nested if. Because we've, instead of having two separate calculations, we've got it all built into one. We've reduced this on screen real estate and reduced the file size also. Let's just make that a different age to show that it works. And we'll make this person 65, but they still don't get a watch because they've only worked for four years. That's a nested if statement.